In this video, we're going to take Lesson 9C's example of food supplement and see how we implement it into JUMP. So again, recall this is a two-way random effects factorial design. We're going to come over to JUMP. We've already loaded our data. We're going to go to Analyze, Fit Model. Our calcium is our Y. Or our response. Now recall we are in a full factorial design so we're gonna highlight these two macro full factorial. Now we are also in a random effects so if I hit run right now this would treat it as everything as fixed effect like we talked about in lesson 7. But we're gonna come here I click on assay I shift down to highlight everything we're going to go to attributes and we're going to click random effect. It adds this little bit of commentary to it. Now, um, we're going to play with this box up here a little bit now. Um, REML is the restricted maximum likelihood. In our class, we talked about just the expected MSEs. For teaching, it's easier to talk about the expected mean squares. Um, also, we're in the balanced case, so it doesn't really matter. If you do have a design that is unbalanced, I would recommend using Remold, maybe looking into that a little bit more. Um, but for this class, we want to highlight and turn it to expected mean squared so it relates back to what we've talked about in our class. And then, again, Jump chooses um, what it wants you to do, but for us, we're going to choose the affected leverage just so we see similar plots that we have in the past. After that, we're going to click run. So, as a reminder, we're going to do a full factorial. We highlight assay and lab. Macro, full factorial. To make it random, we highlight them again and we click random effect. We change our method to EMS and our emphasis on effect leverage and hit run. Then we can scroll down. I'm going to kind of close some of these real quick just so we can talk about it. So we have an ANOVA table here, but this ANOVA table, this F and this P value are not correct. We do not want to use these. What we want to do is scroll down to where it says test with random effects and our P values and our ANOVA table really comes from here. So notice this table looks like this table. Um, this error that we have in our notes does come from this right here. So this ANOVA analysis is only really useful for this error term. We don't want to use this F or P value to find the P values um, or F tests for our main effects and interaction. It's down here. This right here, the test denominators synthesis, is pretty much verifying that we are using the right denominator. So with our um, lab or assess or our main effects, our denominator that we're using is the interaction. With the interaction, our denominator for the F statistic is the residual. So this is kind of just checking, double checking. Jump users, you guys get an extra little bonus um, that our, our users don't which is this table right here, which this computes the variance components. So here um, would be the variance for our assay, variance for our lab, our interaction, and our residual. Here's the total, and then they give you the percents. So as a quick recap, we go to analyze, fit model, Highlight assay and lab, macro full. Highlight these three, go to attributes, random effect. Put our response in our Y. Change our method to EMS, expected mean squares. Change our lever or emphasis to effect leverage and click run. And then you have your results.